Athletes, welcome back. It's another great day of fitness, and we got a special one for you because this is a partner workout. So find somebody to jump in this workout with you. We've got dumbbell hang snatches or X jumps, no jumps, some running, and then everybody's favorite, synchro burpees over line. So whether you're looking to build teamwork or get in an argument with somebody, we've got the perfect workout for you coming up after the warm up, which is now. <gasps> Athletes, our warm up is here. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. We're gonna go ahead and get into heel toe rocks in five and three, two, one, go. So right now we're going heel toe rocks. You're gonna go up onto your toes, back onto your heels. We're working through this to get our ankles warmed up because of the run that we have today. After that, athletes are gonna go into a heel shin grab. And what that looks like is, is they're gonna grab their ankle or their shin, their heel, and then pull up. We're gonna do that on each side. We've got five reps total. After we're done with that, sorry, there's three reps total there. So if you guys get the extra, you can. After that, we're gonna go into our single leg RDLs. So we're gonna see Shane go true single leg. We're gonna have patient stagger stance here. So when we stagger stance, this is gonna be one that we can do if we're working on our balance and we don't wanna go on one foot. I'm gonna challenge Shane here to make sure he keeps his back nice and straight. I'm not looking for you to go down and touch the floor. So we're going down as far as we can while we still feel that isolation in our hamstrings and our glutes. After we're done, three on each side. We're gonna go three dumbbell hang snatch on each side for Shane. So this is just working on that transition. We've got patients doing X jumps, no jump in the workout. So she's gonna be going through her reps here. Notice that both, both athletes drop their hips so that they can load into their posterior chain. We're not just bending over. If we bend straight over, it's gonna put all the workload on your low back. Last thing we have are gonna be up downs to seal pose, and then they're gonna come back up, and then we're gonna hop over the line because we're getting that synchro going on right now. We've got three total here. The seal pose position that we do is just helping open up our core. Then we're gonna go one more, they'll hop over the line, and then we're going back to, this is only three reps. That was four, four and a half, four. Oh, uh, that's true. You're right. Now we're gonna go back into our heel toe rocks. So we're back into heel toe rocks, up to our toes, back to our heels. Now, in the intro, I said if you wanted to argue with somebody, this is the workout for you, because I will tell you, anytime there are synchro burpees in a workout, this is the true test of a friendship or a relationship. Because what happens is, is that Shane is gonna start thinking that he's going slower than Patience, so he's gonna speed up without saying anything. Then Patience is gonna feel like she's going slower than Shane, so she's gonna speed up. When they get done with that round, they're each gonna be like, why did you go so fast in this? And the other person will say, I was trying to keep up with you. So communication is extremely important in today's workout. I want you to make sure you have one athlete that's calling the up, so when you both hit the floor with your chest, you need both athletes on the ground at the same time. One person can call up, the other person can count reps because it gets very, very difficult to think about synchronizing with somebody and keeping track of where you're at. So all we wanna do is get along in today's workout. I want no fighting, I want no bickering. If you know that that is something that you're prone to because you're working out with your best friend, with a spouse, with your normal workout partner, and you guys always get into it, then we can think of today like a therapy session and we're really gonna work on communication. So the warm up is done. We are getting ready for that workout. So talk strategy with your partner and give them a positive affirmation. You're not crushing them in today's workout. I want togetherness. I don't want trying to bear your other partner. If you do not have a partner, you can do this workout as an individual, so you just won't synchro with somebody. Or if you wanna to try to keep up with our athletes on the screen, that's your partner right there. So we got the workout coming up next. Take care of what you need to. We'll see you in a second. Athletes, the workout's here. We got 10 seconds on the clock. Shake hands with your partner. Shake hands, shake hands quick. And then get to your spot. We're starting on the run, starting on hang dumbbell snatch in three, two, one, go. Now, with today's workout, if you're taking that run, it should take 30 seconds. So it's 15 seconds out, 15 seconds back. If you do not have the run distance marked out, then that's what we're gonna use for today. If you're on a machine, I'm gonna have you go 30 seconds. So if you've got a bike, you're gonna use the calories that you accumulate in that first round of 30 seconds to match every round after that. So if you're on a bike erg right now, if you get 15 calories in your 30 seconds, you're gonna try to go 15 calories every single round. When Shane is done with the hang dumbbell snatch and Patience is done with the run, they're gonna switch places. Patience is going into our X jumps, no jump. And then we've got Shane going into our run. Our camera guy is hopping off the floor because he's telling Patience to jump. 
We have never done an X jump with a jump. It's always been X jump, no jump. So jump, patience. Jump for your life, as high as you can. That's it, you can jump higher than that. You gotta go higher than that. As high, there we go, that's better. So after both athletes are done with this, they're gonna move to their line and they are going to work together to make sure that we stay in synchronicity, which I've been told is not a word, but I've used it so much, I feel at this point that Webster can get a letter and it can be something that can be petitioned for. So if it is a word, if you know the synchronicity is a word, please uh, drop it in the comments below. Our athletes are working at a pace right now that they can maintain across all of our sets in this workout. We have five sets total, and Shane already said that he forgot to bring a shovel today because he wanted Patience to be able to unbury herself, which is not very partner-like conversation before a workout, but we still have 20 seconds left. So I wanna make sure that we are hitting the intended stimulus of doing something that we can maintain across our sets. And if this ends up being an example of what not to do, we're taking one for the team so you guys can do it right at home. We got two, one, and rest. And that is it. How many reps did you guys get? Uh, 22. If Shane's out of breath on a burpee workout, then we know that Patience is in trouble. Patience, did you get 22 as well? Okay, wonderful. So right now, um, we do have one minute of rest, which if you need to reassess, because hey, maybe we got a little bit too excited on our first round and we need to use set number two, because just like life, there's no mistakes, there's just happy accidents. And if we accidentally did 22 burpees in the first set, we can change that right now and find a much more sustainable number moving forward. So you guys have 20 seconds, we're gonna switch it up. So whatever movement you started on in the first round, you're going to the opposite. So whatever you ended on in the last round, you're starting on in this set right now. We got 10 seconds. You guys going for 22 again? We got five and three, two, one, go. Now again, on our movements, the purpose of these movements is to get your body moving and to get your heart rate up so you're moving into burpees already semi-fatigued. We wanna make sure that once again, I'm gonna pretend like set number one didn't happen with 22 burpees. We are finding a pace that is sustainable. So you need to discuss with your partner and make sure you guys are working together. Do not try to get to a place where you're racing your partner because you have to think about your guy, yourself as a team, not as two people paired together and you're trying to absolutely destroy the other person. So communicate here. We got both athletes done with their first movement and now we have switched. The Shane is going to the hang position which can be marked as anywhere below your hips and above your knees. He's making sure he's keeping his chest up as he goes through that transition. And our air, Shane Jones right now, is making the air transition because that's what he's known for. If you need to switch between the legs, you're welcome to do that as well. Weight selected there should be allowing you to do your set unbroken. We got both athletes moving to the line now. And now we see a much I'm gonna see, I don't know, because I feel like they're gonna end up speeding up because they're gonna start feeling too good. But whatever pacing we maintain here, it needs to be something that you can replicate on sets three, four, and five. So in all seriousness, we always have fun in the studio here. We want you guys at home to make sure that as you're going through this, talk to your partner. Figure out if you guys are wanting to try and get a little bit faster or a little bit higher on each round in terms of the volume that you're accumulating but we have to keep that synchronicity. I'm gonna keep using it because I'm gonna to try to get it in the algorithm. It's a real word. If it's not, it sounds really cool. It should be a word. We got 15 seconds left on the clock and we've got them both talking now, which is great. We've got eight seconds left and five. They can get one more and three, two, one. What did we hit? How many? 17. Okay, we got 17, which I would say is a much more sustainable pace. So 17 is going to be our goal reps here. And one thing I do want to take this uh, this less than 45 seconds to talk about is that 
We gave you a great example of being too excited in a workout and you go out too hot in set number one. You have not ruined the workout by going too hard in that beginning round. You just take set number two as your new metric. It's the same way as if you started a diet and you tell yourself, hey, somebody brought donuts into the office, I'm gonna have a donut. And in your head, you're like, I've ruined my diet for the day. That is not true. You have resets. So what you can do is, is that if you were doing something like that, take your day in quarters or eighths and just say that, hey, I enjoyed myself during this eighth of the day. I'm gonna make sure the rest of the day I stick to what my goals are. Same thing here. We wanna make sure that we are maintaining something that can be repeatable in three, two, one, and we're going again. So we are back on to hang dumbbell snatch for Shane because that's where he ended set number two and we've got patience back on the runner. If you guys are doing this off of a runner, like I said, it's 15 seconds out, 15 seconds back, or a total of 30 seconds with whatever machine that you are using. Even if you're in place and we're doing high knees or we're doing that jog in place, it's 30 seconds and then you can switch over. If you don't have a partner, that's the time domain that you're gonna be sticking to so that you can switch over. After we're done, we swap places and then we are going back into our synchro burpees over line. Patience has got that jump of the X jump going on. And then we got Shane on the runner, staying nice and controlled, focused on trying to recover as much as we can during these movements. Nice deep breaths to be intentional here. When we move back into our burpees, we're gonna communicate once again, making sure that we're hitting the ground at the same time. One person needs to be counting, one person needs to be calling your up. We got 17 reps in the last round. We're finishing right on time compared to round number two, or set number two. And now we're back into this pace. With this, you have a full minute to work. So it can be fun to kind of like push your partner and take them to a place that they didn't intend to go to on this workout, but do it in a different workout. Today, I want you guys to think of yourself as being in competition with the other teams that are doing this. And if you absolutely take your partner to that dark place and leave them there while you leave and you go home and then you forget you left them there and then you find them in the morning and they're in the corner crying, like we're not going for that. I need you guys to be talking after this workout and like hugging and like making dinner plans and just enjoying life because you guys absolutely crushed this workout. We got 15 seconds left. So continue staying steady with this pacing. I like what I'm seeing here. This is much better than set number no, set number one, which never happened. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. And we got two and one and rest. How many? 18, so that's perfect. So now we've given ourselves a realistic trend that we can do here. So we did 17 in the first round, or sorry, 17 in set number two. We did 18 in set number three. We're gonna see if we can hit 18 or 19 in set number four. If we go 19, then we're gonna to try to go for 20 again in set number five, but it's nice deep recovery breaths here. So if you don't know how to recovery breathe, it's in through your nose, out through your mouth, make sure you are filling your lungs up completely. You can open yourself up by putting your arm on a pull-up bar, or you can put your hands on your knees, but I need you guys to focus on your job is recovering right now. So nice deep breaths, start making your way back to the movement that you guys are gonna be starting on. So whichever one you ended on with set number three, you're starting on set number four. We got 10 seconds. Then we're getting back into it. No reason to be nervous. We're going in three, two, one, go. Now again, this is set number four or five. Typically, you're gonna hear me say this every single time. We got a round based workout. The second to last round is always the worst because you've come so far, yet you got a little bit more to go because we know we have one more set after this. So we have our athletes in studio aiming for 18 or 19 reps. We're gonna try that steady uphill. We're gonna go for 19. If we feel like we wanna make this a maintenance round so we can push hard on the final set, then we can go for 18. We got Shane back into his hang dumbbell snatch. Making sure that anytime we have an overhead movement like the snatch, we take a nice deep breath in when we are locked out overhead and our lungs are open. And then breathe out when we're bringing that dumbbell back up. Having air in your body and getting that engagement there is gonna keep you from collapsing. So we always wanna make sure that we're breathing out when we apply the effort, which in this case is gonna be when we're sending that dumbbell overhead. We got both athletes finishing up on their movements. We're about two to three seconds behind of our round or set number three. So we're gonna make this a maintenance round. We are shooting for 18 reps here. Good 
job. And if you notice with what our athletes are doing is, is both are stepping up. We've got Shane stepping up with the same leg. We've got Patience stepping up with what I think is alternate legs. So you got two different styles here. So when we're going through, Shane is comfortable with stepping up on that one side. He knows it's not gonna make him tight on that side of his low back. Patience is using the technique of stepping up on the alter or the opposite side that's closest to the line. So it's her outside leg every single time. This keeps her balanced and keeps her moving. You guys have 10 seconds left. We're going for that 18 rep here. So if we can get our 18 rep, you got three, two, one, what did we hit? We got 17 here. So that is not bad at all. 17 was our starting for set number two. So don't get discouraged if you guys are dropping back down because we do have consistency there. What we don't want to see, and we're pretending like set number one didn't happen, is getting 22 or 25 reps in set number one and then dropping off markedly. I'm not going to say 22 to 17 is a bad drop, but we learned a lesson from set number one. So as we're going into this last and final set, this is the place where I need you to steal yourself and get yourself worked up because we are gonna apply the highest amount of effort possible. Now this doesn't mean that you go pedal to the metal and leave your partner behind. We still have to communicate, we still have to work together, but I need increased intensity and increased effort from both of you. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. This is the last set. Get yourself ready, because I know we're gonna see some big numbers. We got five and three, two, one, go. With our last and final set for today, we are gonna keep ourselves controlled on the run and the snatches or the X jumps. And then when we move to those burpees, this is where I need you guys to really, really work. I need you to increase that intensity, continue to watch each other and play off of each other in terms of the pacing that you use. But let's see if we can get our biggest number of reps in this last and final set. For our purposes today, we're using 17 and 18 as the two numbers that we've been hitting. So if we can try to get 19 on the set or even 20, I think it's possible, but it's gonna take a lot of teamwork and a lot of communication. Because like I said earlier, we wanna make sure that we're talking to each other after this workout. And uh, when we were at the games, I had a couple that was always in class talking strategy. And I hope they're doing this workout right now. Cause if you guys are, you know who I'm talking about but we came out stronger because of it, and we're gonna do that right now. So athletes are a little bit ahead of pace here. So we're about three to four seconds ahead of pace where we were last time. And now we are moving at a pace that looks sustainable. That first set, hey, we're just happy to be here, you know? And so we started out a little too hot. We really wanted to give you the example of what not to do, and I feel like we achieved that. So both athletes are moving through, making sure that we're staying with that steady pacing. They are breathing in time with the burpee. If you don't know where to breathe on the burpee, it's where you're getting up. Because in a burpee, it's always easier to go down than it is to stand up from it. We got 30 seconds left on the clock. That gives you guys an idea of where we are at pacing wise. I need you to keep pushing on this workout. I know you wanna quit right now, but if you can speed it up at all, give me a little bit of gas. This is it. You're gonna be disappointed if you think you had anything left in the tank and you chose not to use it. We got 13 seconds left, so give it to me. Everything you have right now, I need you to move. We've got eight seconds. Keep going, get those last reps in. Five, don't quit early. You've got three seconds. Go, 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 and two, one, time. How many reps? 21 reps. Fantastic job. Patience, great job. Now during this time, we usually cut to going into that cool down transition, but we just place a huge intensity level on our body. So I need you to focus on recovery breathing. So we're gonna add something special into the end of this one. What I want you to do is, is the in through your nose and out through your mouth as much as you can. So if you still need to breathe through your mouth, that's fine, but we're trying to work our way towards in through our nose, out through our mouth. When you get to the point where we can breathe in for three to four seconds, Give me a slight hold of two to three seconds at the top and then breathe it out. Get your body back to homeostasis. Now, I always say in classes that if you can work out well, it makes you half an athlete. If you can recover, that makes you a complete athlete. So use this time not to panic, not to lay down on the floor. If you feel like you're gonna pass out or get sick, you are allowed to lay down. If you feel like everything is pretty much in control, but your heart rate's just jacked, try to stand up for me. Give me a nice little cool down walk right now. And I need that nice deep breathing here. Get your body back under control. You did great. Give yourself a chance to reward yourself and recognize yourself for the effort that you just gave in this workout because this was phenomenal. 
So again, we're gonna go through this recovery breathing for another minute to minute and a half. We're gonna cut in just a moment, but I want you guys to pause here if you need to and get your body back to some type of normalcy. As you get that breathing under control, you're gonna feel your heart rate go down and get back to its normal resting rate. This is what I need from you. This should be the focus that you have every single time you're done with the workout. It's very easy to lay down on the floor and kick your shoes off and then act like you've been stabbed. I don't want that. Yesterday's workout was the last time you're allowed to do that. From here on out, if you feel as though you can continue moving after the workout, give me this nice recovery. We have calmed ourselves down. We're still very sweaty here, but we got that breathing and heart rate under control. Once again, great job, guys. I love what I saw. Athletes, fantastic job. Thank you for sticking with us during this like impromptu uh, breathing exercise that we did at the end. It is so, so important that you focus on that breathing and we'll try to make sure that we emphasize that more often in future videos. We got the cool down coming up next, so make sure you grab some water and stick around. Athletes, once again, great, great job on today's workout. We hope the breathing stuff helped you out, get yourself back into control. But well, we absolutely loved having you join us today. Shane is thankful, Patience is thankful, our camera guy Josh is thankful. Most of all, and I'm not more important than anybody else, but I'm thankful as well. I'm so happy to have you guys with us. Now, if this was your first time with us or your 10th time with us, and you are still not a part of the Mayhem Athlete community, I gotta ask you why not? The Mayhem Athlete community is an online training community of athletes that are looking to just be a little bit fitter and a little bit stronger for the things that life can throw at them each day or making it all the way to the CrossFit Games or any type of competition that you would like to compete in and get on top of the podium. The, the Mayhem Athlete community is a group of like-minded athletes that will allow you to have fun and encourage you all the way to your goals and most importantly, feel better about yourself and build that confidence that you may have or may need to increase. So if you're not a part of the Mayhem Mathlete community, please join us today. We would love to have you and start that seven day free trial right now. Now, we got the cool down listed right here. Your body just took care of you in ways that you may not even have guessed that it could. So please make sure that you take care of your body. And most importantly, be good, be kind, and join us again for another great day of fitness.